Light of my life, the nectar of my honey, the reason for my existence. I waited for my girl at the train station, but she did not arrive. The man told me that she might have got off at the last stop, showed him a photo of my love. He listened well for a man who spoke with his eyes closed. He handed me an address of a man who made it his business to know where missing people went. I left the train station. He called himself a cowboy, but Alex Puddle was his real name. This was common knowledge. The cowboy welcomed me as a friend. He said life was too short for this not to happen between us. He showed me a map and told me of locations where strange beings conspired against strange people. He gave me his hat. He told me it had governed nations. I didn't disagree. Weird. No other word for it. Damn. I wondered what his face was hiding. I was challenged to knife games. This guy was a real joker. He was slow and clumsy, like a man-child. I took part just to humor him. This game held no real interest. Just wanted my girl. He wanted to play again. I had no time for his games. A rock always gets you the information you need. I bided my time, waiting for night to fall. At midnight, I approached the building. I knew that trouble would be waiting. Bum rush the stairs. Clear them out. Please dig their graves a little deeper this time. Guitar case through the face. My favorite finishing move. I entered the room, but my darling was not there. I left back down the stairs and waited for her outside. It had worked before. Sweet melodies had returned her to me. Love had prevailed. Though this made no sense, it doesn't fit. Dead.